I've been doing this every year since I was alive, and I do it for my grandma because this is her 16th year surviving, and she's really awesome, and I love her so much. We started 10 years ago with a mission to make a difference locally in the fight against breast cancer through education and research. Our organization is very different than any other breast cancer organization in the state because we keep all of our money right here in Connecticut and we really focus on research. We really truly believe that the end of breast cancer begins with research. So that's why we work so hard and so passionately for the past 10 years. Um, we, we truly believe in our researchers and um, they're doing a lot of good work and things have changed um, and it's not, it's not a death sentence anymore. Um, so although it seems that it's change is slow and we keep raising so much money and we're, we're the answers, I think we really have done a good job in changing the face of breast cancer. This is a very special race for me because it's the 20th year that I'm a breast cancer survivor. I'm here because to celebrate the 20th anniversary of my sister's surviving breast cancer. And it has become an incredible family tradition. It's myself and her children and grandchildren and family and friends and because we want to honor not just Marsha, but the fact that she has created such a legacy of wanting to support this organization to not just to celebrate her, but to celebrate all the women and men who are struggling to overcome breast cancer. I have faith that perhaps in Connecticut we we'll really will make a difference. Our major fundraiser is the race in the park, definitely, and that brings um, a lot of excitement, a lot of money um, into the city of New Britain. Um, we are all a family now, really, all of our volunteers and our sponsors and our researchers. We have great relationships with everyone in the city. Everyone is so supportive. It's just, um, it's, a, it's just a wonderful feeling when you see it all come together in that last week and then on race day. Um, there's a different atmosphere than other road races or walks. Um, people are just supporting each other, even though there's competition going on. I mean, when I used to run the race, people would come by and pat me on the back because we have back signs, you know, I run in memory of my mother. Um, they say, I'll run for her too. It's just a very, very different celebration of life on that day. Hi, uh, my name is Dr. Kevin Claffey from the Yukon Health Center and I'm one of the breast cancer researchers that is supported by this great race. There's only two words to describe this great event. That's courage and determination. The women out here are fighting and, and survivors and their families and friends are supporting them and determination by all of us to try to fight, learn new research, get the knowledge to help us fight this disease. So I thank everyone. It's a fantastic event and thanks for supporting Connecticut Breast Health Initiative. I am a three-year breast cancer survivor and rain or shine, I'm always here with a smile on my face and I love it. I'm the team captain for Clayton's Crusaders. I am a two and a half year breast cancer survivor and I've been doing the race in the park with my mom and my sister for many years but um, two years ago when I was diagnosed we started the team um, in my honor as well as some of other friends that are um, survivors as well and this year we are up to 92 of us. Um, some of us ran, some of us ran and walked, some of the, um, our children did the fun run so it's a great day for us to be out and to support all the fellow survivors and honor those that have lost the battle and keep fighting the battle ahead. I have been coming to the race in the park for many years. I am a doctor at the University of Connecticut and I am the medical director of the breast program and I have been fortunate enough to be assigned the professorship from the Connecticut Breast Health Initiative which they've given us a hundred thousand dollars a year to, to grow our program. My name is Richard Pabbas and this is my lovely wife, Michelle, who's a breast cancer survivor for three years. I don't know what we would have done without the research that went into helping her. Dr. Tannenbaum was her doctor and basically saved her life. Uh, she was part of clinical trials 
and whether or not that played a role in helping her fight and actually beat the breast cancer, I'm not sure. But we can't give up the fight. There's no way. Just keep fighting, and one day we will find a cure for this. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Terry Donahue, and I'm a surgeon here at the Hospital for Central Connecticut. And we take part in the care of uh, patients with breast problems, especially breast cancer. And uh, the Hospital of Central Connecticut is a uh, center of excellence in the care of breast diseases and breast cancer. And we see a large volume of patients every, every week and every year that come through our hospital. And we get involved with the social aspects, the medical aspects, the treatment and diagnostics, and help the patient in every aspect of their care throughout their entire process. I am a breast cancer medical oncologist and breast cancer scientific researcher and I've been supported in my research by the Connecticut BHI for the last four years. I've done basic research into new targeted therapies and novel combinations of therapies that we think may have a more broader application than even the people who originally thought these uh, treatments might work. I am a nurse practitioner. My entire nursing career has been in the field of oncology, specifically in the field of treating women with breast cancer. There is a tomorrow, I tell women and their family. This is just the beginning of a new and very different world for them in which someday they will see, despite a cloudy day, the sun shining through. The other thing that Connecticut Breast Health Initiative is grateful for are all the other organizations that raise money for us. Um, yes, we do the race in the park and we do a golf tournament, a memorial golf tournament in honor of um, our original golf chairman, Howard Belkin. Um, but all the other organizations that raise money for us, it's just, um, it's phenomenal from a volleyball tournament to a car show to a jazzercise event on Thanksgiving morning, and they're all over the state. Um, we're really grateful for these people to do this for us. I have raised for Connecticut Breast Health Initiative a little bit over 200 $200,000, maybe 213 to be exact, in the last 10 years. And it is my pleasure to raise the money. And I will continue to raise money until there's a cure. One of the girls in the car club was a breast cancer survivor. She used to run the breakfast. And uh, we started doing the show for her. And it's been like 10 years now that we've been in with Connected Breast Health Initiative. We've been here every year. And we're up to $137,000 that we donated to breast cancer. I started with parking cars for the breast cancer, for breast cancer for the uh, Apple Harvest Festival in Southington, and I've raised over $3,000 to date. And uh, I just started to get really involved with breast cancer, and so I just started coming here this year, and it's a great experience. I got involved probably about eight years ago in the in the breast cancer golf tournament, and uh, I thought it was a great organization. So we started a, a line of uh, pink tools that we donate money toward breast cancer research for the tools. So I've been involved with this group. It's the only only charitable organization I donate to, and uh, and we really strongly believe in it, and that's why we're here. We have been an emerald sponsor of the uh, Connecticut Breast Health Initiative Race in the Park for five years, and uh, we were doing it for a couple of reasons. Uh, one of our corporate missions is. Uh, to help people lead healthier lives. And I know it has a wellness connotation, but it also is about eradicating serious diseases like breast cancer. And we know that that is a primary mission of the, uh, the Connecticut Breast uh, Health Initiative. Our sponsorship is a, is a statement we want to make to our hometown of New Britain supporting this great event and how much it means to the city. Uh, and we want to do it because we believe in the cause itself. It all started about, um, about last, uh, or probably about a year ago. Mm -hmm. uh, at News 8, we were looking to kind of really have start a community campaign that really meant a lot to people in Connecticut. And knowing that uh, Connecticut has the second highest incidence rate of breast cancer, we looked and said, you know, that was really something that we wanted to get on board and try to help make a difference. And we, so we searched, and the search for a partner began and said, okay, who do you want to partner with? There's a lot of great organizations, but to us, the Connecticut Breast Health Initiative really stood out because we felt that they really had um, kept their original mission of all the funds going to research in this state um, and it just was a perfect match for us.
I'm actually a dentist, so I'm also walking for all my patients who are survivors and even for those who were not. It's been a great run, it's been an emotional time for me too. I've met some fantastic women, phenomenal women. I see them running and I say they can, I can too. Um, I'm here today for my 10th year of the race in the park and I've thought a lot about why do I continue to do this. Um, I'm in support of all the women in my life who have had breast cancer, um, who have survived and those who have passed away. And I think my grandson had it right this morning when he said to me, Grammy, if you keep doing this race, we won't have breast cancer in this world anymore. And I think that's why I continue to do it. I started out worrying about breast cancer when I had just delivered my first child and they found a lump in my breast. Um, I was one of the fortunate ones, it was just a lump. But I remember what went through my mind at the time and that was, will I ever see my children grow up? Will I ever be able to see them graduate school or anything? And, and now I know what these other people are going through. I was one of the fortunate ones. I've had friends that weren't as fortunate, but there's something about coming to this race more than any other race. When you can look out there and see a sea of pink hats with lots of ribbons on it because there's so many more survivors than there were years ago. I'm a 14 year cancer survivor and I helped start this race 10 years ago. I was on the board of directors. This race means a great deal to those people that started it and those people that are loyal and continue to come and support. So you have a lot of friends here? We, a ton of friends here, and sadly, we've lost some. But it feels great to my heart. It does feel great to our hearts, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Congratulations, Connecticut Race in the Park. Ten-year celebration. Here, here.